Rod Al-Mansouri. He is accused of killing a sex worker in a New York City hotel two weeks ago. Body was found on February 8. Authorities said the suspect flees to Arizona, stabs a woman in a carjacking, grabs a third woman in a McDonald's, and stabs her in the bathroom. Now, Maricopa County has him, has him under arrest. Good job. The DA, Rachel Mitchell, says, oh, I have him. And I'm not sending him back to New York because Alvin Bragg is too soft on crime. She says to reporters, quote, having observed the treatment of violent criminals in the New York area by the Manhattan DA, Alvin Bragg, I think it's safer to keep him here. So is this a legitimate argument or is this about the game? Let's debate. Trial attorney, former New York City prosecutor, Paul Callen, attorney, former FBI special agent, Stuart Kaplan. Good to have you back. Stuart, welcome to the show. Um, I'll start Thanks. with you. Stuart, do you believe the Arizona DA is making a rightful decision and the right decision? 100%. And even though I'm sitting, I'm actually giving her a standing ovation. Chris, there is no greater threat to you and I and our viewers and our society, when those type of individuals or individuals would prey upon our law enforcement community. Let me just remind you, just a few weeks ago, four individuals who are here in the mm -hmm. United States illegally preyed upon mm -hmm. a uniformed police officer and beat the snot out of him. And notwithstanding, this same DA, Alvin Bragg, gave him or gave them the first class treatment of the revolving door of justice in New York City, soft on crime, and not only let them out without any bail, but also provided them with the means to leave New York City and go to another state so they can continue engaging in their criminal activity. All right. So yes, this prosecutor is soft on crime. All right, let's bounce points as quickly as, uh, as, not quickly, but let's try to get as many in as possible. Appreciate you. Um, Paul, uh, New York City, Alvin Bragg, uh, revolving door, bail reform gone wrong, too dangerous to send the guy. Let's keep him here where we'll know he'll stay behind bars. Response. That's an argument uh, that's playing politics with the criminal justice system and ultimately with people's lives. This is a very serious crime. It's a murder in New York City where this young woman was bludgeoned to death. And I can tell you this, you might be able to criticize Alvin Bragg for policies that he has with respect to handling shoplifting cases and some other things that happen on the subway, but he's tough as nails on murder cases. And there's never been a case that I've heard of since he's been elected where a murderer was released to go back into the streets again uh, on no bail or uh, low bail. If he's got a strong case, and he probably has a strong case here, this is a case where the defendant should be extradited back to New York. And by the way, the U.S. Constitution says this. There's an interstate compact that was signed by all 50 states that has to do with transferring prisoners from state to state. Uh, and there are federal laws and state laws pertaining to it. So she has no right to do what she's doing. He has to be brought back to New York at some point in time. See, look, I worded it the way I did, Stuart, uh, for, for a reason, right? I don't think legally she has a leg to stand on, but I think you have the stronger political argument um, versus Callan. Now, he's referring to Alvin Bragg, saying that the homicide rate in New York City is lower than it is uh, in her jurisdiction in Arizona. Uh, OK, it doesn't matter, really. It's about whether or not this guy's going to get out and be free to do bad things again. But what is the legal basis, Stuart, for her to be able to do this? You know that it's in the Constitution. You know that they have a contract. Um, since when do they say you can't have them? Sometimes they say we want to try them first, but the higher felony usually wins, and that's going to be the one in New York City. So what's the legal basis? Well, there's really no legal precedence. I mean, the, the bottom line is in Arizona, this individual committed too violent felonies, yes. uh, the to wit stabbing of innocent people. And so Arizona's position is that we are going to protect the interest of our citizens here in the state of Arizona. And then after we get done with him and he completes his sentence, 
we'll go right. ahead and ship them back to New York City. But Chris, may I just remind your guest here, July of 2022, this same prosecutor, this same DA, tried to have the bodega owner arrested and charged with murdering someone who came in and tried to kill him when he initiated self-defense. Don't forget that case. Don't forget the case on the subway where a good Samaritan came to the rescue of others, and he is now Still being prosecuted on. for murder. Absolutely. They so we have a case. prosecutor. Exactly. And so this prosecutor, his agenda, his priorities are absolutely mm -hmm. backwards. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.